one more session of your WOC. This is your Vani ma'am back again with your new series. What is it? I have promised in my earlier video. From now, remember students, Vani ma'am is going to send her handwritten notes for grade 11th and 12th. All the chapters which are prescribed in the NCRT syllabus, again, let me tell you, this will be helpful for the students who are following the NCRT textbook. Let it be for NEET examination, let it be for your JE examination, let it be for your grade 12th examination or whatever entrance exams you are going to write because now we very well know theoretical part as well as MCQs. So normally what did board say? Board said that now the students should prepare the syllabus based on their conceptual learning, correct? Competency based questions will be asked. So let us start. Keep noting students. Vani ma'am will be sending it on the regular basis. Take the notes, take a fresh notebook, start writing. I will be sending all the chapters, but before, because board exam this time, we are going to start with the first, not with the first chapter, we are going to start with the second chapter. So, I will be starting with that. So, before starting, I am, let me inform you, please share the video, like the video, so that all the chapters prescribed for you all, one is going to send. Let's start the video. So, according to our syllabus, that's for your 2023-24, let me tell you students, these are the chapters which are prescribed by the board, okay. This is available in the cbsc.nic.in, let's see, you have only 10 chapters this time, alright. So, these 10 chapters or notes also I will be sending, apart from this, the leftover chapter notes also I will be sending. Take a notebook and start writing. So, we are going to start with solutions to make your work easy. I will be sending little by little, little by little every day so that we will complete the chapter. We will put it in separate folders, solutions, all the videos, electrochemistry, all the videos in that way. I promise you all that these notes will be giving you or fetching you 70 out of 70 marks. Let's start the video. So, going with the first chapter, this is my handwritten notes. Let me zoom it for you so that you can note it clearly. So, first uh, the unit 2 solutions chapter, what did I do? I have first taken, what is the definition of solution? Okay, solution definition I have given it is a homogeneous mixture of two or more components. So, when we say two components, what are, what are they called? They are called as binary solutions. So, somebody asks you the definition of solution means you have to write these key terms just like homogeneous mixture containing two components and those two components if they are there it's called binary solutions there are two components in this one is solvent and one is solute so here remember students i almost 1600 videos are done video lectures are done for all these chapters using the black using the white board rather it's a board teaching i have taught every topic of the ncrt i have also taught the ncrt questions i have solved the numericals now these are the notes all right so this is the first part of the solution chapter then gradually we are going to study about a concept called mixtures the different types of mixtures which we have then after this the important thing which we is going to start in the solutions chapter is strength of the solution so if you have to find the strength of the solution first you should know the definition of the solution and this solution strength if you have to find out in the lab also we have different formulas like mass percentage volume percentage and mass by volume percentage then comes the parts per million this is one more formula then mole fraction so what did i do for everything whatever you're going to take i have picked up what is the representation of the particular thing what is a formula because we are saying percentage we multiply it with 100 like that mass percentage volume percentage mass by volume percentage all the formulas are mentioned now gradually going to parts of parts per million formula is given mole fraction how do you represent along with the formula is given from there gradually i have gone to one more that is molarity representation molality representation along with the units nice now students all right from here, gradually after taking this, I'm going, I've taken into a topic called normality. Normality is topic which is deleted for few, but you should learn this. It will be very useful for your JEE and NEET examinations also. So, normality representation along with the formula and how it is given, how it is calculated. Now, after giving the formulas, note, there is something called dilution law. This dilution law is very, very important for your practicals also, for your volumetric analysis. So, dilution law, what is a formula? I have mentioned here. And if they ask you for the viva, this will be useful. 
and after that what is the relationship between molarity and normality also picked up from there there is one one mark question as i said competency based question so they ask you what are volume dependent and temperature dependent factors and what are mass dependent and temperature dependent factors that is also mentioned here from there this is very important part students from there gradually i started with the mcqs very important because you have mcqs in the exam now how do you deal with how do you find out the concentration as we have done parts per million molarity molality right this is what we should remember now these are the different mcqs so question is given to you what are the options and the correct options also are ticked in this you can learn the mcqs directly like this then gradually from their solutions and types of solutions what are the different questions asked like this is a question where it is given in a solution component present in large proportion is known as solve it very well so question based on that gradually one after the other then i went to the incorrect sentences from the following so they have given incorrect sentences which is a incorrect sentence you should tick that so option a option b then gradually when we go option c and option d so we i have also marked the incorrect option so you are going to note all these and analyze why it is incorrect that the next post which of the following now i have given you a homework also which is not a homogeneous mixture means which is not equally distributed which is not where you find solute and solvent separately okay i think you can take this question easy from there gradually i have taken one more question about the mixtures this is one mcq from there a one more question is given to you based on the type of different types of solutions like colloids two solutions suspensions correct so based on the particle size this is the question how it is asked maximum questions will be asked like greater than or less than gradually taking you all into one more type so this particular question to remember this question to remember what are the different options what is the nanometer size and everything this is also given here from there gradually i have taken one more mcq this is uh, as i have told you different types of mixtures you have eight varieties are there in that what types of question there is a table in ncrt you need to remember the table to answer this so from there one more mcq based on that part also is given to you so you can go through true or false how are the components given how it is what question is given to you everything are picked up line by line of ncrt so from there expression of concentration as mentioned molarity molality these are the mcqs which are asked how is it asked learn read the mcq note it in your book and you can answer the question in the exam so this is one more mcq for your concentration terms gradually from there i am going to go to one more one more question the same right so here some numericals are also given for the numericals you should be very careful how what it is so if they say 3.62 mass percentage means what is uh, 3.62 it contains 3.62 grams of nacl in 100 grams mass percentage is weight by weight no so that is a percentage it is given here gradually there are few sums which are given based on w by w i have also taken up to solve the question i have also given suppose if this is a question for you all i have given the solution which is based below complete solution is there for the sum gradually we are going to go to some more numericals based on the concentration the molarity and if this is a question gradually i have again given the solution below because if you are learning for the first time this is a solution just given to that now some more numericals based on volume by volume percentages that's your mcq based on the formulas also gradually from the formulas expansion of the formulas one more mcq we still have to solve further using the numerical this is one more suppose if this is numerical they have asked you to calculate the percentage by volume of ethyl alcohol so i have shown the solution part below how to calculate using the simplest formula v by v into 100 and one more sum which is given in 2015 all india medical test also retest also aipmt that is what is mentioned that's given and uh, pre medical entrance exam is that's where it is given so this is the sum and i have given the solution also you can go through 
then here comes one more the same thing as i mentioned this is the particular thing and so solution part of that is here from there gradually i have taken one more sum this was asked in medical entrance exam as i told you for c need students also it is useful je students also it is useful and then gradually i have taken some more sums solved also you can take this any doubt you can go back to the video lectures i have taken line by line of ncert go through the complete thing the solution part is given every question on the mole fraction every question on the molarity every question on the molality everything is given so you can go through it and completely note it so this is the question which relates with your mole fraction as mentioned you know concentration terms we we can find out the strength of the solution in different parts right molarity molality mole fraction ppm so these are the different concepts of where you can apply it and solve it so they may ask you question based on the numerical they may ask you question based on the units they may ask you interrelated questions also so i have taken up these sums this is also one more for mole fraction gradually mole fraction sum one more sum is here so go through the question students once again i'm telling you if you find it's difficult pause the video and note the question and solve it for further video lectures again i'm saying go to the playlist and upset so what i'm going to do now we have done the sums based on the concentration in my next video that's day after tomorrow further numericals practice questions if i have to tell you for solution chapter theory mcqs one mark question two mark question five marks three marks everything i'm going to send as a package everything is for free so my request is please share the video like the video so that you will encourage me to send you more and more i promise to send all the chapters theory mcqs one mark two mark three marks five marks all the best students wait for the next video coming up very soon please share the video thank you so much